Welcome back to Pikmin 3 Deluxe. We're going to the Twilight River today. On the last episode, we went to, you know, the Twilight River. Uh, we got some winged Pikmin on the squad. Very exciting. Um, mm -mm. Excuse me, there's something in my throat. Good intro today. Uh, we're saving Olimar. Listen, you and I both know his name is not Olimar. It's Louis, but they don't know that. That's dramatic irony, okay? The audience knows something that the characters do not. First things first, we're just going to make sure we get every single winged Pikmin. I don't think we need reds. That's something I'm going to talk about. But here we go. He's he's saying he's going to talk about something, meaning he's almost certainly not going to end up talking about it. Um, so where are we going? Wait, we pull this bag down so we can get a short access to the new area. Um, red Pikmin are, like, really useless, I found out. It, this was no secret in Pikmin 2. I kind of realized it halfway through the game. I was like, man, fire is not that common of an element, and when it is, you can just get any Pikmin to deal with it, huh? And then I was like, man, turns out this extra combat strength sucks when you have purple Pikmin. And then also, like, man, turns out the extra combat strength sucks when you have, a. Uh, was it called? Rock Pikmin, as you can see here. These guys are called, uh, Arach Nodes, by the way. They're not called Arach Norbs. I think that's a Pokemon. Uh, anyways, what are we doing today? We're just gonna, uh, I don't know. Listen, dismiss everything but the wings. I'll go on a lily pad and figure something out. Where he gets on this. Very cool. Probably should have brought, like, a captain with him. And then I just care about you guys, like, breaking down this wall real quick, and we'll get Alf to where he needs to go. We got, uh, most of this wall. About half the wall taken down. Alf, I mean, there's no point getting off there because uh, there's, there's nothing for you, buddy. So instead, let's get off on the next one. I see a data file, I see some flying men, I see a wall. Lots of, lots of good stuff to be found over here. Alright. These guys are called Scornets. They're, you're never going to believe this, but Winged Pikmin are really good for dealing with them. Because you just kind of, like, vaguely charge in their direction and then, you know, they, they figure it out. Get them, buddy. Yeah, they're, they're going for it. They're each one. Uh, their corpses don't, uh, like, aren't a thing. Yeah, so that's what they do. They, uh, they grab Winged Pikmin, and you have to, like, free them before they finish killing them. Top ten questions science still can't answer on how that happened. Water is lethal to Pikmin. I don't, I don't even have any concept of where that is. Okay, I guess we saved them. Yeah, Winged Pikmin, when you throw them, they kind of arc down into the ground, which is weird, but, like, you know, they will end up drowning in the water if you, uh, aren't paying attention, I guess. But it's, it's weird. Uh, so, they, yeah, did I just mention this? I don't know. The Scornets, they kill Pikmin if you leave them for long enough, so just kind of don't let that happen, I guess. You're doing a pretty good job at fighting them right now, though. There's only one left. Get them. All right, cool. And uh, there's some bridge pieces there. We're just going to focus on this wall real quick. So they're done the wall over here. So let's find out. Well, there's the bridge. So now we know what we're uh, doing. I brought yellow, so I think there's an electric gate here. I'm not sure. That's a winged gate. Cause, yeah, there's an electric gate. A winged gate. That's a, that's a, that's a, that was like a bad neighborhood, I'm just going to be honest with you. I think it's flying in the sky is a, uh, a Nectarous Dandle Fly, I believe it's called. I looked up its name because I was so certain I just wasn't going to remember it. It was like, wow, what a what a name. Uh, but yeah, Nectarous Dandle Fly. Uh, it's like the Honey Whiffs, but it gives like multiple nectar. And obviously you want to use yellows or wings. I'm not sure, buddy, you can get back on the wall. Might take a while to finish this, but that's fine. It is what it is. Go back on the yellow gate, how's it coming? Uh, it's, it's coming, alright. Uh, I wonder if I could get, like... I wish I had more Winged Pikmin is the issue I'm facing right now. I just wish I had, wish I had more. I have 19, but what if I had a lot more? Where's that lily pad go again? I guess we could take this lily pad just at the other end. It's kind of... Mm, I don't know. I'm just going to wait for this gate to be broken down, to be honest. I am feeling you know, very lazy today. And every day. It's a rough day to be me. Uh, don't... Let's, let's talk about something else, okay? What's, what's been happening in the news recently? Uh, nobody knows because I don't really pay attention to the news. Hey, look, it's a big open area. I wonder what's going on in here. It's the Burrowing Snaggerit. He's back. Uh, this, this fight is not nearly as exciting as it was in the previous game, if I'm being honest with you real quick. Oh, excuse me. If you want to make this fight really easy, just use Wing and Pikmin, and this guy like does not stand a chance against Wings. Uh, but... Yeah, no, he did, that doesn't count as Impaling, so in fact, uh, he can kill Rock Pikmin. The Rock Pikmin just do a lot of damage in the first hit. He also always gets stuck in the ground on his first hit now. So, you know, it's, it's such an opportunity for massive damage. Uh, you know, I mean, this is it's the Burrowing Snagger. I think this is the only time he appears in the game. He's dead. He dropped an apple. He has a foot, which is interesting. That kind of makes him, like, the exact same as the Pileated Snagger. And I'm going to remember to do something I always forget to do, which is go over here and push this bag down. Is this, uh, it's pretty close to the ship. It's next to the Winged Pikmin Onion. That used to be. Just got to make sure there are no desiccated Skittle leaves, because there were some here yesterday. They haven't respawned, right? Bastardly dogs. Okay. We're good, we're good. I wish I had more Winged Pikmin just to bring back the Snagger for more, you know, Winged Pikmin, but I guess it is what it is. Apple's bouncing around. Apple, by the way, really, uh, really nice fruit. I respect the apple quite greatly. 
Uh, I guess we'll just, just like send Charlie back to the ship, huh? That's elf. All right, I get my captains confused sometimes. Um, oh, actually, you know what? No, we do need Charlie for something. Hang on. I just remembered there's a there's a captain throw here we need to do. Data file, pick this up. So yeah, that bouncy thing, we need to throw a captain and some Pikmin on that in order to get some stuff done. Actually, I don't think you like have to throw a Pikmin on it, but definitely gotta like throw a captain. I guess Brittany's getting thrown now because I messed my thing up. Bro, definitely a very good uh, use of the lock-on feature. Let's not like get greedy here. Let's just take that with rocks because obviously there's a crystal here. I think there's just a data file on that, huh? I am... I am... I, I, oh no, it's, it's Kiwis. Double bad eyesight today. There's an arachnode there. Very unfortunate. We need Wing of Pikmin to get the bridge pieces. Early. Norgul. Get this data file. I consider myself to be a hardened veteran of planetary exploration now. With so many battles under my space belt, I no longer have need for this little item. I've since buried it nearby. Hopefully someone will be able to get some use out of it. Captain Olimar. Uh, yeah, maybe we can finally, like, get some use out of an item. And by the way, I'm not gonna... Listen. Somewhat, somewhat hilariously, I did in fact say I always forget about the dodge whistle. And then I said, Oh, well, don't worry. I'll show you guys in a second. Narrator, he did not show them at all. So that was that was an interesting little event that happened, right, guys? Oh, no, Brittany. Right, Brittany's still over here. That's fine. Actually, just like throw some rocks up, and she can collect them at her convenience. Uh, in the meantime, we are going to uh, do something. I don't know. Yeah, sure. Get Brittany to collect the rocks over here and get them. I guess. No, I mean, you might as well just like carry the kiwi back, because uh, yeah, they're figuring it out. Because you know, we can just throw the rocks back up there anyways. Get Charlie to go back to the ship. The dodge whistle, I just, I immediately forgot about it, even though I was making a joke about how I forgot about it earlier. But no, this time, we're gonna show it off, okay? At some point, uh, the bridge got finished, so let's bridge it. That's a, that's a wall, my man. And we got two little clipboards here. Uh, so let's see. One of them has a bunch of enemies inside, one of them doesn't. So let's, uh, definitely make sure to lock on first. We're just kind of hard over there. Lift up the one that doesn't have enemies, please. What's inside? It's bridge pieces. If you're wondering, the first one has a bunch of uh, dwarf orange bulb orbs inside, so I'm not, not super interested in lifting that up. What a what is that? It's a new spacesuit. Hey, what's this thing? You can't even see that. It looks really familiar somehow. Whatever it is, let's get it back to the Drake to analyze it. Good plan. Alright, so there's bridge pieces. We can't get them because there's a bit of an arachnode situation. Uh, also a pair situation there. We're gonna charge this. Listen, source dude, just trust me, this works, okay? You can you can you can get winged Pikmin over there. It's actually like really funny when you do. There you go. It's no good. Listen, you could you could use three bombs to break down this wall, or you could bring this pair over like that. And you might say it's not working. It's, it's Jocelyn. Alright, listen, in the meantime, uh Brittany's still here with the rocks. Right, we're waiting for those to get back. The fruit. There they go. Oh, they're bringing back the flame thing. Spoilers, it's a flame thing. It has a fire on it, okay? Don't be weird about it. Y'all know it's fire. Uh, what am I, like, doing? Need to get those arachnodes taken care of. Let's get... Yeah, we need to give, um... Alfred and Rock Pikmin to take care of the arachnodes. I hope that enemy name is correct, otherwise I'm gonna look very foolish. Uh, but we need to give them some that so they can take care of them. Our arachnode goes down to three Rock Pikmin. Usually just kind of throw one in the web and then... You know, deal with it afterwards. It's not that big of a deal. Primary concern right now is just getting this bridge down. Elf. And oh no, look, they can't get the pair down. Oh, we can't cheese it, guys. Oh, I'm being so sincere right now when I say that this is an uncheesable fruit. Uh, I'm not. I'm actually just, like, lying to you big time. Oh, I'm gonna need you to get out of that, man. Get out, please. Okay, that's fine. We lost oh, three. This guy eats a lot. Is he me? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very cool. Fruit recovered. Uh, Brittany's, like, still up here, huh? Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Uh, Charlie, just, I don't know, manually go back to the ship or whatever. Clearly, we can't deal with arachnodes very well. Okay, got it. Remember dodge whistle, remember dodge whistle. Analyzing. New item alert. I feel like I was saying something and I'm being stupid. This is a rough day for commentary, I apologize. Message from the Drake. Is it about that suit we got? It sure is. Analyzing recovered item. What is it? It's the Scorch Guard, you remember this. We got this from Emperor Bulblax in the second game. The undersuit adds flame resistance to your space wear. They sell these as spacesuit extras back on Kopai. Aha, it's even got instructions with it. Let's note this down in the exploration notes. Protects you from fire. Incredible use of data file. With this little gizmo, I can touch anything hot in fire without ever getting burnt. Oh man, you can touch Brittany's personality with this. Haha, <laughs> there's my registered joke for the day. Hope you all enjoyed it. You will not be getting another one. Uh, what do we need right now? We need more rock Pikmin for Brittany, because I, I'm not confident in taking down that Iraq node. 
And then we need to get the rock. We need winged Pikmin to get the bridge pieces back. I, I was so close to saying ship parts, but I'm like, no, that's a that's an entirely different game, man. But we got a full kiwi back. We got an apple back. We beat a burrowing snagger. So I'm already feeling okay about the progress today. As we finish that bridge, we can start working on what the heck Olimar slash Louis is up to. I just, I just give it the facade, okay? Listen, maybe this is your first Pikmin experience. You don't know that man's name is actually Louis and not Olimar. In which case, I'm so sorry I spoiled it for you. But, you know, everything ends eventually, including innocence. Speaking of which, what's going on with, like, Santa? I got a bone to pick with Santa Claus, right? Because I feel like the whole spirit of Christmas, and I mean, it's probably, it might be December by the time it was uploads. Maybe it's the Christmas season. The whole, like, spirit of Christmas is, like, giving, right? It's like, oh, you, you should be thankful and, and give to other people and show how much that you care about them. Then it's like, oh, we just made up this guy who gives you presents. And it's like, no, I feel like we just, why, why are we bothering making up this creature when we could just, like, you know, be like, hey, this came from mom and dad. And it's like, oh, mom and dad, I love you. And it's like, oh, you, you guys will get, look, we're having a nice family bonding experience is what I'm trying to say. I just feel like you shouldn't have to make up a, a mythical entity to d deal with your concept of uh, giving and uh, generosity, okay? I got a bone to pick, if you couldn't tell. Anyways, we're getting an elephant involved over here. And all these winged Pikmin. We're gonna throw these back up to Brittany. And, uh, there's, there's no way I can get those from there. Actually, hang on a second. Better idea. What if I don't even need to be Brittany up there? What if I can just... Oh, yeah. That's the winged Pikmin way. Uh, Skeeter Skates can shoot winged Pikmin when they... You guys are having an absolute laugh. Stop. Stop drowning, please. Actually, they can just kill them, right? Early. You guys can kill a Skeeter Skate. Thanks. I don't like going in the water, though. Oh, yeah, you can't throw a winged Pikmin when they're in the water because, you know. Okay, I mean, you guys are having a, a joke with me if you think you can't get that. You can't throw a winged Pikmin in the water because, you know, your captain is in the water, so that would be a bit awkward. Get Brenny too. This is, like, the least efficient day ever, but we're making it through. We're gonna need to go over here so we can get these bridge pieces. I just want to get this bridge done ASAP, which stands for as soon as possible, in case you were wondering. You said this series wasn't educational. I have exactly 13 rocks and 13 wings. It's my least interesting fact award for the day given out. It's, uh, you know, we gotta get one in per set per episode. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I should, should probably, like, carry this back. There we go. See Brittany here to deal with the remains. I guess you can captain throw to get a data file. Uh, data files are like, you know what, before I forget, I'm showing off the dodge whistle. So if you tap a uh, direction pad, you can dodge. Okay, I've sufficiently showed it off now. I will now never use it again because I always forget it exists. Uh, we need someone to go down the opposite shore. I guess Alpha is responsible for that now, to get the remaining winged Pikmin I left over there. Um, the other thing, right, I, I read a data file. I feel like this is like the fourth time I've started this thought. Am I insane? Uh, I read a data file just to see what they were about. I, I kid you not, one of them was, and I quote, winged Pikmin can fly. So in case you thought you were missing out on any sort of like knowledge from these data files, fret not. There is, there is not much to be gained from reading them. Hurry up. I'm trying. Guys should be on their way back, and the bridge should be almost built. We didn't quite get the uh, the whole... There's a bit of a situation here with the uh, orange bulb orbs, in case you couldn't tell. We didn't quite, you know, finish that, but maybe another time. Waiting for that bridge complete sound, and then we can get Brittany over here. You need 10 winged Pikmin to bring that up, by the way, in case you were wondering. You know what? Maybe we can, maybe we can just kind of sneak it out. You guys interested in sneaking things out today? I'm kind of interested in getting a little sneak job going. Don't Google that. <laughs> Get all you. Four Pikmin. Who knows where they are? I know where they are. Do I? No, I don't. I'm just lying. Oh, they're carrying the Arachnor back. They are really slow with that, huh? Uh, okay, Brittany. Yeah, we only have nine. Oh, I should have put only three on that. That was a rookie mistake by myself. Um, I don't know what else to do. Can't quite get the orange. You know what, Brittany? I, I, the thing is about this daytime in this game, it's always a lot to... Uh, you know, that little warning comes up, like, pretty far away from when the actual end of day shows up, so I'm a little scatterbrained sometimes, I apologize. You guys aren't, like, you guys aren't, like, stuck on anything, are you? Oh, I just heard it go back in the onion, they're fine. Uh, alright, we'll collect these guys, and, I don't know, maybe we'll do something about it, who knows. I don't know, okay, we're just kind of free for them. We got two fruits, we got the whole dang bridge complete. I was really just concerned about growing more uh, wings, to be honest, because these guys are... Uh, definitely very useful in the game, as I, you know, gauded about. That's not the right use of that word. As I gloated about last episode. Uh, they're very, very good. Hoping to get more of them, especially for the upcoming event. Listen, we all know Olimar slash Louie got attacked by some sort of creature, okay? 
There's going to be some kind of a, a, a tussle at the top of the tree. We all know it. Let's just say you uh, you really want wings for that, is what I'm trying to say. How, how, how risky am I willing to get here? I'm willing to get pretty risky, if I'm being honest with you. Okay, here's the thing. You, ju you just need to get the orange, like, out of there. Just go. Just get it out of there, and then we can call them back, and it's fine. Go, 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 go. Drop it! <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Oh, I'm so smart. Drink that up. Get all flowered. Beautiful. I'm, like, actually just a genius sometimes. It's kind of... My genius is almost frightening. Here we go. See, I've already gotten the junk episode out of the way. It was, like, episode four or whatever. Uh, where I showed off really terrible gameplay. So now I'm back on the high. Now I'm back on the ego train. I'm ready to... Ready to prove that I know what's going on, even if I clearly don't. Here's some Pikmin. We got some fruit. It was a nice chill day. I didn't really have any, like, anecdotes. So I apologize for that, but... You know, sometimes you just get kind of one of these days. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be spending our third consecutive day in the Twilight River. But, uh, hey, we, we made some good progress. Made progress on that little tangerine we got out of the Bulborb Den. We grew some more Winged Pikmin. Stop saying that, please. Okay. Uh, and, you know, we attempted to get the pair. It's not like we're going to get it tomorrow or anything. That'd be crazy. It didn't even come out of the wall. <laughs> Subtlety. Two halves of a kiwi and an apple. And the kiwi only counts as one fruit, though. The insect condo. <laughs> That's the second time in the series we've had one little... A little squirt in the juice container, that's fine. That nice and filled up. The Blonde Imposter. I've never eaten a kiwi in real life, but I've always kind of wanted to try it. Look at our nice variety of colored fruit. We got pink, yellow, orange, slightly darker yellow. Cool. Only I didn't have to share it with the others. You go, Brittany, honestly. Good, we still have plenty of juice left. We have more than we started. I mean, started today, obviously, we have more than we started. We only started with three the, the, the little jugs. Oh, yeah, we also got the thing. Who knows what it's called? The Scorch Guard. I know what it's called. That's exciting. We don't have to worry about fire anymore. We did lose some Pikmin to the Arachnode. My fault. It is what it is. Uh, we will recover our rock numbers. Hello, Brittany. Today is day 8 of our mission. We've gathered 26 pieces of fruit. That's pretty good. This planet boasts a stunning variety of fruits, each one more delicious than the last. Some types are tart enough to pucker your face inside out, while others are sweet enough to pop your eyeballs right out of your head. Those are highly unscientific descriptions of tastiness. You know what, Brandy, I'll forgive you. I, I respect a nice, uh, a, a nice, uh, to-the-point description. I'm not a big fan of metaphors or anything that requires a modicum of intelligence, as you might be able to tell. Save the game, and you know what? I think tomorrow we're going to be saving Olimar Louie from the top of the tree. Let's just have a nice team meeting then off the day. Let's see what everyone has to say about Twilight River. It only count as two fruits, even though those two halves of a kiwi. Okay. That mysterious Hawkatation finally contacted us directly, eh? He somehow got through the emergency channel on the cope head. I'm not comfortable with this. Something here seems odd. We're stranded on an alien planet, Brittany. It's natural for things to be odd. Why, I remember once. Let's go get our cosmic drive key. Uh, sorry, Captain, I didn't mean to interrupt, but perhaps we should see if this Hawkatation has our key. If I could have finished my thought, I was about to say the exact same thing. Let's get this Olimar fellow. But, like, peacefully. Okay. We had a, we had a nice little chill adventure on the Twilight River. I want you to join me tomorrow when we go uh, save this mysterious Hawkatation from the top of this tree. So I hope you have a good day, and I don't have any advice for today. My advice for today is don't listen to advice from people you don't know. Somewhat uh, hypocritical considering I've been giving advice, but whatever. Don't think too much about it. Hope you guys have a good day, uh, and goodbye.